Hey guys, welcome back to Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking, where I share with you Instant Pot inspirations and ways to feel confident using your Instant Pot. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make Instant Pot broccoli perfectly every single time. Broccoli is like the best thing that you can make in your Instant Pot. It's not soggy, it's so fast. I just throw it in my Instant Pot when I'm almost done getting dinner ready and then it's done by the time we're sitting at the table. It's so convenient and you will never make it on the stove ever again. So first I'd like to start out with Broccoli florets, you need to make sure that they are cut as evenly as possible. If you have small pieces and large pieces all mixed up together, they're going to cook at different times and different rates, so you want to make sure they are as uniform as possible. I personally like using just a pre-cut bag of broccoli that I get at like Costco or Sam's Club or just the grocery store because then it's cut and cleaned for me. I don't need to worry or fuss about it. Next, add your broccoli into a steamer basket, a steamer net, or some other accessory that is pressure cooker safe that's going to keep your broccoli off of the bottom of the pot. You just don't want it sitting in the water. My preference is to use a steamer basket and this basket I've had for years. I love it. It's one of the best accessories for your Instant Pot. I promote it all day because it really is, I think, the number one accessory you should get for your Instant Pot. If you want, I have a code in my description below for a percentage off of my favorite instant pot steamer basket so go ahead and check that out if you don't have a steamer basket or a steamer net just try and put it on the trivet which came with your instant pot that's that little metal rack thing that comes with your instant pot just place the broccoli on top of there and just try and keep it out of the water as much as possible and then add one cup of water next we're just going to put our basket full of broccoli into the instant pot don't add more than one cup of water because then it will take longer to come to pressure and longer to depressurize and it's cooking that whole time. So you really want to make sure that you're not going to overcook your broccoli. Next, just lock that lid on your Instant Pot. Turn your sealing knob from venting to sealing. And then you're going to cook your broccoli for zero minutes. Yes, you heard me right. Just press the manual or pressure cook button on your Instant Pot and then press the minus button until it gets to zero. Yes, it's possible. It just means that it's going to come up to pressure and then it's done. It's not going to cook for however many minutes it usually pressure cooks for. After it has cooked for zero minutes and it beeps that it's done, give it a quick release as soon as possible. You don't want to leave your broccoli in there for a long time because it will get so mushy and that's disgusting. <laughs> So remove your lid and then check the doneness of your broccoli. If you can pierce it with a fork or a knife, then it's done. If your broccoli has a little bit of resistance to it, all you have to do is just place the lid back on your Instant Pot for about one to two minutes. Don't go longer than that because it will overcook and get mushy. So just put the lid back on and let the residual heat just steam through to just make sure it's fully cooked. Do not pressure cook your broccoli again because that will be overcooked and you'll just end up with broccoli soup and that's not what we're going for. Okay, after that you want to just remove it from your Instant Pot as quickly as possible to stop the cooking process and then you've got perfectly made Instant Pot broccoli. If you'd like more information and more troubleshooting, I have a full FAQ post on my website, triedtestedandtrue.com. You can check that out at the link below. Instant Pot broccoli is one of the essential recipes that every Instant Pot owner needs to know. And I have a video of all the other essential recipes you're gonna need. Check that out next, and we'll see you next time. Bye.